35 years on in his art practice and he will throw all the mediums that shouldn't mix together onto a canvas and it messes up the canvas and it you know it's what what are those things that shoot at the heart to make you feel something mm -hmm. when he's like that I'm like oh yes yeah oh, it just That's it, it, That's it the moment. sucks you in So David, you've designed an amazing limited edition piece for review. Talk us through that process and what that was like, the creative process and how you came up with these amazing designs. So can I actually show you the floor? Because I start all my work on the floor. I was extremely excited by the fact that there was also this approach that I'd never heard of before and it makes perfect sense to me, where they had provided me with the cut I paint the fabric, then they scan the fabric, and I think we're doing a small addition of those. The pieces of material I got were creased. And so if I roll over them, those creases are gonna be, they're gonna just be amplified over and over and again. I didn't mind the crease, but I had to wash it. And Yugi said to me, but then it's gonna shrink. So I dyed them first. Because also two people say, how'd you get that red? I said, well, if you have a close look at it, it's not one colour. There's an undercolour and there's another colour over the top. So a dye, a paint. So before I put anything on it, I at least wanted it not to just be one dimensional, the next dimension. So this was after they came out. In a studio this size, you go, where's the arm? <laughs> I'm missing an arm. So you go in the washing machine and you're like, you know how it goes in there? You go, oh, there it is. You know, I always think that if a painting looks good on the floor, it's going to look even better. Taken out of the studio with all the other noise and to take its place out in the world. But I think it's up to us to carry it through. David's painted these works that form part of the prints and we've basically delivered it to review and said, do what, do what do you do will, what you yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I think it's also you like seeing your art interpreted through uh, someone else's eyes as well. Oh, no, 100%. And yeah. you can definitely see their DNA and, and our DNA and I think it's a better thing for it. Because yeah. your aesthetic and also the review aesthetic Mm. Not that they're too dissimilar, but together mm. it's like yeah. the perfect match. Yeah. As a huge fan of yours, as an artist, but now as a person and as someone who I've had the pleasure of spending this time with, I'm so grateful to have been able to shoot and bring this to life in an amazing space that you've created. So thank you so much for your time and thank you for just being the amazing person that you are. We're so blessed.